Hey, everyone, so let me put you back. Before the video gets started, I got some huge nudes to tell you, and then some smaller nudes, and then we'll get the video started. So, the smaller nude is my camera, uh, well, my equipment, and probably not going to be here for a little bit on. Or we ordered it, like, a little bit, about a week, I want to say. Well, a little bit less than a week before Christmas. And they pretty much, much, and we waited and waited and for it to get here. So my dad just, like, had a thing for it. So he checked it, and it said that uh, it's coming from China. And so, so pretty much that it shipped. It made it through a few things that had to go through before it could actually be shipped to us. It's on its way, and that should be in between now and the end of next month. In between, like, the 25th of next month. So, we got a while. But, I decided to move on. I was waiting for the equipment, and then... I'm going to make, like, a music video. I admit, okay, there's two things. I've been putting off making a music video, writing a new song. I've been working on a few. I'm very excited for this one. But I was in between not, um, I was kind of putting it off, off one because of the equipment not being here, and I was to like do it more professional to I have a really good singing voice and most of my music videos don't get a lot of views because or pretty much in my turn they lose subscribers to me and that's really sad which we have to take down the subscriber or thing that I made to put a new one up which is for 20 subscribers. Well, this one is for 17 subscribers. Because I try not to do it every time it goes up. But, like, if it goes up one. But when it goes up two or more, I do change it. Because for the two new ones, I've heard much a um, couple videos back, quite a few actually. I made a, I took a blank piece of paper er, to put on my wall of fans, which for those who want to get their username or a specific name put on there, all you have to do is let me know you are following me somewhere or you are subscribed. So like, you have to be either subscribed here or you have to be following me on TikTok, which is and Andy's fans, all capitals, and then you or you have to be following me on Likey, which is Andy's fans, but Andy, Andy's are all cap. Andy is all capital, like Andy's is capital, but then fans is lowercase. Or you have to be following me on Pop Champ, which is Sammy237. And or you have to be following me on Instagram, which is Andy Forever. Or that you I literally tried searching it like all capital and I tried searching it like all lowercase and I tried like searching it like capital and then lowercase and it works no matter what you as long as you just put the name in. So I have been putting off making a music video. I'm finally doing it. I learned I was thinking and I taught myself this kind of that uh, I don't care if I lose subscriber from the music video. I don't think I will. I'm hoping I don't because I really like the song, okay? I don't like my singing voice. I can't change that. I can make it better. Or I try. 
I do make, like, I do try to edit my music videos, especially when I make them, like, fun, and I make, like, this huge description box. I done music videos for first, but they weren't really songs that I was actually in love with, and also, um, they were so, like, you can, I don't know what you guys see. Let me know if you only see the most recent six videos of mine, or if you see all videos of mine, because sometimes it will, because, as, personally, I think you only see the most recent six, and so that good and bad, because then, even if you search, like, a specific name, it's like that video no longer at this person, and which, I mean, there's some good about it, some bad. I mean, if you could pick certain ones that, I mean, I wish I could pick, like, some, like, keep the music videos, and then other videos to kind of, like, maybe keep some, because i done some really fun videos. I even did a collab video with a little girl that I am related to. I forget how I relate, how I'm related to her. Her name is Skylar, she's seven. We did a slime ASMR video a while back. Right now, please pray for her, for her, or just keep her in your thoughts because she broke her elbow. This is why my parents never bought me a trampoline, and I don't blame them. I get scared on trampolines. Like, legitimately, if it's a trampoline with anybody on it, I get scared unless it's a trampoline park. Or, or like, a one-person trampoline. Well, if it's a one-person trampoline and there's other people on, obviously I'm going to be scared. Because it's a one-person trampoline, it's not the 5,000. But, yeah, she literally fell off and broke her elbow. And she went to... Um, her dad's house, and he found out after her mom had, like, no interest in it, and, that. and so, yeah, but I, yesterday, I did a video on, like, using this book, uh, I got it for Christmas from my parents, thank you, mom and dad, I love it, because this, I've been doing it as, like, homework, pretty much, and so one is, for those who haven't seen her name video, then you should go check it out. It's really fun. And pretty much one is, you get to read a bunch of questions, and you answer them, and they're like fun questions. Well, I completed some more of it, and so I'm going to be reading what I completed. Okay. So let me, let me go back a few pages so I can actually read you what I actually have completed. This one, that's my dog thing. Okay, let me find it. Okay, I'm almost... Just give me one second, I should have, like, I should have found the paper before I started the video. Okay, so here, here it starts. Have you ever fought with a friend? How did you solve it? And I just put a note because I never really, like, what they mean is have you ever, like, have you ever fought, like, fight? 
with a friend or did you ever fight with a friend? I just kind of know because I never person. Okay. If we're going to be 100% honest here. I never personally only fight like with a friend group. We like, especially, well, there is when I was little, when I was like really little, I had a friend. And the answer is no, but yes. Well, a family member. Or, or at the time, we didn't really know if we were, I didn't know if we were friends. I didn't know why I thought on her on that person and one of my nieces and we need to fight all the time i mean we were little but it wasn't physical fight it was like we were little and we didn't know how to share our toys or anything. we didn't get the idea of that we didn't get the basically we didn't know we were little to the point where we didn't, like, really understand life fully yet. So it was at the point where we would just fight over, like, the little thing. Like, oh, she's playing with my toy or something. And we're, like, so little when that happened. So the next question is, is what year of your life have you loved the most? What made that year great? And so... I put in 2019 with the best year because it's true. And you got here at all. I did so much because I did so many different things. And like my channel got started in 2019. Um, in 2019, in my, um, in 2019, in, I had the greatest day ever. In my crush in 2019, I went to JoJo. So much fun stuff happened, and and I said, and I did so much fun stuff. And it said, but it was the worst year because then you go to the next one because it's true. It was the best and worst year in my opinion. I did a lot of fun stuff, but you got here because I got separated from my crush. And that's true. I did get separated from my crush. Kind of, kind of not. What happened? Let me explain. And for those who are new and you don't know I have a crush, and you just generally didn't, I do have a crush on someone. I cannot reveal his name. And he literally is the best person ever. And I miss him, like, so much. To the point where what making it even worse is that no one understands that at the point. Like, my niece, Bella, uh, I go follow her on Instagram at catlover1212. I don't know if she doesn't really post much on because we don't know. We think her phone got turned off or something for some reason. So, but she still, when she can, she does try to post. She's really fun. And, and she's like my best friend, and well, one of them. I don't really have a best friend, well, that's a lie, actually, but I do have one overall best friend, and then I have, well, they're not really, I don't say that counts. I'm confusing myself pretty much, in much, I don't really have an overall best friend. I have one person that meets everyone else in the world. In my life, but they're already in the category of my crush. So, pretty much, my crush is generally the nicest. Well, we pretty much got separated this year. No, what happened with that? Uh, uh, what happened was we were going to like this music class together, and we also used to go to this art class, but then I moved, and so we didn't. And quit going then and, and when I moved back this year, um the plan was to like start no I wasn't gonna go to art class. Uh but then we decided maybe we should because music class quit. So we went like we'll just um, like call and find out if art class is still going. Art class quit. So now we pretty much but we found the 
what we think is the exact same music class, just has a different tone and same teacher, and I'm so excited because I, I do really miss my crush. It is the third week of this month, but then the thing is, okay, so my dad, honestly, one thing that I told him, because um, I do have to go to three doctor's appointments this month, on Monday, I'm going to two, but they're like in the same area, so that's good, and and so it's not like too far or of a distance from each other, and they're both from kind of the same thing, and because I am getting going also surgery, but we're just moving bones, so yeah, that's Cool. Mm, you know, and I accepted it, and I'm very excited because the one thing that I was, like, a little offended about was food and what I was going to eat, but luckily my dad said that he can, that he will be there the entire time, but he will go out and, like, get me whatever I really want for food, and so I'm like, yes. Yeah. That gives me so many options. It gives me, like, McDonald's. I do like McDonald's. It gives me Hardee's, Arby's, all of that. But, but right now, the only rule that I gave was that he had to make it on a day that I wasn't going to see my crush. And he said he can make that deal. He said that he understands. He understands that I've been working for my crush for seven years now. Um, but I've been too scared to, like, really do anything about it. I did try once, almost twice, well, kind of twice, pretty much. Both times really failed, but my crush is honestly my favorite person on this earth. So we pretty much got separated. But my crush, honestly, I'm about to make a video on why my crush is so perfect. So, stay tuned. And then the next question is, and, and do you have, basically the question is, do you have a friend or like some, like a friend that lives in a, a way, like a really far away from you and how do you connect? So I put in Bella because that's where we live about, let me see. We live about seven and a half hours away from each other. No, what happened? She's four and a half from my sister, or his house. But she's, but my sister's house is like, well, one of them. I have four sisters. I only met two of them. So, I pretty much, I have literally only met two of my sisters out of four. I never grew up with them, like, personally, as, like, we're, like, being far in age differences. And so, so, yeah. Yeah, but pretty much, pretty much, I have grown up in living with one of them. The other, I never lived with, but I know of. But, that was a long time ago. So, I put in Bella, and then I put, and then we call each other, because that's how we stay connected. And, and they wanted to know that. Then we got a few blank pages to do that. Then we got the page, which pretty much they want us to, like, put a sticker. And we like, if I put it, I keep Jojo Band-Aid. And, and it says... Pup knows best because I don't really have. I have stickers somewhere. I can't. I want to do something kind of Joe Joey. I have some stickers though. And then and it says, When Jojo was a little girl, she dreamed of being a pop star. Imagine you and your friend 10 years from now. What will you see each of them doing like? And 
seven months. So from so in the first one and I kind of me I picked two friends. I'm kind of my wife will be a dancer or pretty much a pop star or dating my crush. Yeah, I see myself going as a pop star because I mean I see myself going like JoJo because I love to dance. I'm actually really good at ballet. And no, I have only done three types of dance than before that I really love uh, for. I done like a waltz sort of dance, ballroom dance. I actually did that about five or six times and one of them was not with my crush. And I had to get stuck with the work dance partner. And no, not being rude. Not being rude to the person. I was stuck with some other, like, younger boy that I got a story to tell you. And then, yeah, it's a juicy one. But pretty much, in my, no, what made him bad was that not the fact that he wasn't trying. He was trying, and then halfway through the dance, he just gets up and goes and sits down and completely leaves me. So I pretty much didn't get to finish the dance. And so I said, oh, oh, I got bored and I got tired of it. So I pretty much got left from dancing, but I was kind of glad. In a way, no, I was kind of glad because it was on a week that something really awkward happened. And my sister, I don't think, knows about the story. And she was there when it happened, but she didn't see it. So what happened was, and was um, we entered in the autism race, but I like we were, I had like my team, in which had um our assistant and because our main teacher for our music class was like in charge of it. She like held the event and stuff. So her assistant was on my team. Then we had one of my nieces, my dad, my brother's wife. My brother was going to join us. Um, again, way older than me. But um, um, he didn't because he had to work that day. And, and so we had his wife, the assistant, my dad, my two of my nieces, and we had my sister. Or wait, I already said that. Uh, but yeah, uh, our team was very small. We had a lot of like people supporting us, but those were the people who actually did the race. I mean, well, after the race, it was like I saw quite a few people that I knew there, quite a few kids and stuff. And then this one, and so we had did the kids that camp. They did like a little kid camp. But was like a min. It wasn't technically a race, cause there wasn't like a winner and a loser. It was that it was like a walk or a run, or it was like doing a race, but there wasn't really a winner or a loser. It was just doing it for autism stuff, which I had, and I accepted. Well, what happened was, and was so I was put in the only age category. I think it was like ten years old and over, over, and the kid would put in, like, a different age category, so they would put you in age category, and your category would get to, like, walk or, like, run, whichever you wanted, and, and so, so we, so, like, I finished, I was enjoying some water, you know, oh, and next thing you know, I feel someone on me, and I'm like, I get weirded out at this point, or I turned around, and it was this one kid, and I went, like, he had came and hugged me, and I went, um, like, do you have a crush on me or something? And sorry to break it to you, do I like someone else? Sort of thing, so yeah. Then we got, for my new fellow, we got a uh, singer slap professional cheerleader. I see that. She loved to sing. 
she's okay at it. She's pretty good. And yet she admits that she's not the professional in the world, but she actually, only she tries and she does pretty good. And she actually does cheerleading at her school, so I can see that working out. Then we got my crush, I put his name, and I see him, this, he was the hardest one, because he does so much, and they're all so different, like, like I, he, like, works with instruments sometimes, he does baseball, he does taekwondo, so I'm pretty much in him as a professional guitar player, because he's pretty good at it, you know? Guitar, interesting, not the worst at it, like, obviously not, like, high quality, but pretty good. And guess I put professional <laughs> guitar player, and I put in, he will be with me, and, and then I put in Taekwondo teacher. I could see him going as a Taekwondo teacher. But for those who don't know what Taekwondo, I think it's kind of like karate. And I should probably know. Because I'm done. Okay, I skipped that question because of because I need my dad to pronounce it. It should be tomorrow. So it says, what is your favorite movie about friendship? What did it teach you? So I just, so they put in like what JoJo's answer is. And it says, one of my favorite movies ever is Elf. I'm going to take a minute. So yeah, this video is entertaining. And again, thank you for 17 subscribers. That means like a lot. Uh, when you subscribe, you pretty much subscribe for somewhat long videos, but really, but you also subscribe for someone who's trying, doesn't always succeed, but tries, puts a lot of effort, so they kind of, and basically because the little brother, they're in the movie, and, and he really likes and it's cute, so I put in Elf, the same reason, because I can't really think of a movie, in the, Okay, so it wants to know when, when is something you do with your siblings, like, oh, uh, here's the thing, I don't live with my siblings, if you have siblings, and then so, I don't, I have siblings, I don't live in them, we live really far apart, I don't ever really do anything, like, with them, uh, except for talk, but I run, so I put it, Go to Target because me and my sister we do go to Target a lot together. So that is a reasonable answer. And do you have any animal friends? What is his or her name? I play Sam. My dog Sam. He's cute. And then you are super close. Okay. Okay, in a second, I will leave that. That's actually a really good one. Sorry, right now, my parents are, like, right now. My door, and, and I'm making my dad wait until Monday to read it, but, yeah. Tomorrow, I got a lot to do before tomorrow. Well, for tomorrow. Tomorrow, I am shooting a music video. You know, I'm very excited for this one. What I'm doing is because if I like how it turns out, which I think I will, right now I'm loving the song, and then I'm gonna basically never delete it from my phone. And then every time that we get past like six, I'll like post it again and again, but maybe like put like, I maybe. I'll like basically put in description and kind of keep it the same, but also kind of make it different. Now here's the thing. Eventually, well here's the thing. And I try. I'm gonna try my best to 
maybe make it on my iPad. And I want to try with my iPad. Because I don't use my iPad. Like for filming or anything. So then I can just go right in and post it all the time and not worry about space. But personally that will be a big deal. Or, you know, I'll figure it out. Because I work really hard for the new subscribers. I did order stuff for my subscribers. I paid $30, which for me, that is, no, who's the thing you're talking Like $30, uh, that's not too much. But for me, I only make like $21 a month, which I'm not complaining. It's pretty good and good. But the fact is that this month and last month, I did not use the money on myself. Last month, I used $30 worth of money that I did not save up for. My mom's brother sent it to me as a Christmas gift. It's a cute little like, Christmas card. Miss card. And I was very excited. Because I love like, so I spent, I spent on, like, $30 worth of equipment for YouTube. I literally ordered the biggest size ring light that they make. I ordered that. I ordered, or like, a, a stand thing to hold my phone. All of this fun stuff. So let's get on to reading this. So the question is, draw a picture of your favorite place in the world. I put in, I wrote, because, let me see. I, I, I can't draw it because it's wherever my crush is. Wherever my crush that has his name is at. Because that is true. I can't draw my favorite place in the world because it's where I'm from my crushes. And that's true. And that, uh, I'm about to make a video fully on this because, as you guys don't understand, I really want to make a full in detail video talking about how great he is that uh, I've been wanting to do for a while. And I'm finally doing what I kind of done. But I'm going even more detailed than my last few that I've done. So the next one is, what is your favorite activity to do with your friends? So I kind of make videos together. Okay, so I got two people. I got Bella, and I'm going to start with her. It said make videos together. Because when she went down, we filmed for like her channel, and, and that was a lot of fun. Um... And then I kind of go shopping. And because we love going shopping. Like, like that's all a fun thing. And that we like to do is go shopping. We, then we get to like get similar things. Or we just get to have fun. I just like that. Uh, and I, I admit sometimes I do have a shopping addiction. And sometimes. And by that I mean most of the time. When I get money. I think one time out of my entire life have I ever tried saving up for some, and that failed. No, it wasn't me that failed. It was that they overpriced something. No, twice that. What happened was that they overpriced one thing. And they no. So we um pretty much didn't look at the picture. That well, so it was basically gonna be fifty dollars for or what we thought was a full on kids worship or a dryer set thing. Cause I was so excited because I was young, and then it ended up being a fail. Turns out it was for Barbie dolls, so way overpriced. So we scrapped that idea, and I was saving up for an Orbeez body spa and then like some extra Orbeez, you know, that failed because my dad decided to read only the bad reviews on it. He didn't read the good reviews. 
No, he read the bad ones. And a bunch of them said something about how it pops and stuff at me. And, and I'm like, but then when you go back and look at it, all of those bad reviews are because people did things. That mine is supposed to be a chair filled with army that you can relax, maybe that has a vibration machine thing. No, you don't. No chainsaw. Like, we found some crazy stuff. Then I put in my crush and I said dance together and talk. Because that is true. We danced together quite a few times and it's like, that's just always fun and then talking is always fun. Then we got one more, more page after this. So it says, and basically, in talking about, like, making a new friend, how do you approach, like, basically, like, write down what you would do to make a new friend, or, like, when you meet, like, a stranger or someone that you want to make friends with, what do you say? I just put it high. Because high is a simple way. And the last page is, one is... The latest silly thing you did with your friend or a friend. Here's the thing. Me and my niece Bella is the case that I put it down. We don't really, I don't really think that I ever really done anything like extremely silly with a friend or at least recently. And Bella was like, one of the last friends, and actually, that is true, that was one of the last actual, like, friends around my age, or, like, in, that's actually not an adult, and uh, that's not an adult, really, when she's one of the last friends, I didn't say she was the last one, okay, and, but I never really do anything that silly with, like, my friends, so I just put in something that we did, videos. And that is what I got. So thank you all for watching this video.